following is a presentation of the Balera Boxing Club. This Saturday, December 11th, IBF flyweight champion Sonny Edwards of England will defend his world championship strap versus Jason Mama of the Philippines on the Probellum Casimero versus Butler card at the Coca-Cola Arena in Dubai. Sonny Edwards boasts a record of 16 wins and no losses, four of those wins by knockout. He's coming off a unanimous decision victory over Baruti Mitalain this past April in the UK. This will only be Edwards' second fight outside of the UK, with his professional debut taking place in Spain in 2016. Jason Mama has a record of 16 wins with no losses, nine of those wins by knockout. Mama defeated Ramachain Sargia by corner stoppage this past April at Sandman Gym in the Philippines. This fight was originally scheduled for September in London, England, with Edwards withdrawing with an injury to his ankle. I'm Chris from Valera Boxing, and I'm joined by Carlo and Philip. Carlo, Philip, welcome. What's up, what's up? So here we are, one of the December 11 fights with a Filipino having a chance to win and walk away with a world title. This one in the 115 pound flyweight division, both men undefeated, both fairly young. Edwards at 24, Mama at 25. They've waited a while to get this one on. And like we saw with Lopez and Cambosis, good things can come to those who wait. Carlo, your thoughts on Jason Mama entering this fight? There's going to be a lot of Filipinos uh, fighting that night. And they, knowing that will help build their, their, confidence and morale you know not so much a pressure but like they know they got to win because they're there with everyone's fighting that night you know these guys know each other i'm sure back in the philippines and now they're here to actually be successful and that's what they're um going for and you know i'm excited about this mama because from watching several of his fights you can see that he improved from each fight and that he has a style of, of, of being light on his toes and um, and he boxes and study his opponents to see how they're going to react. He likes to dance back and forth, forward and back and, and, and be light on his toes to see what kind of reaction he's going to get out of his opponent. Um, he likes to move around and, and, and bounce around to see what reaction, what punch they may throw. And I think that's when he can actually start changing his style. Um, he will change his stance into a, a, a high guard stance, uh, meaning he's ready to attack and he's going going to be the aggressor. He's going to walk you down, stalk you, and and um, mix up the combinations, um, you know, high, low, and go to your body. That's what I noticed about it. His stance, his form, his, um, his uh, technique has improved uh, as, you know, for every fight that uh, – um, he went into so um that's what i liked about him is um his high guard stance and going hard to the body phil mama has a tough foe in front of him but he certainly has a wonderful opportunity here against sonny edwards who is a young champion but a very very good champion he is a tough fighter one thing i noticed about sonny edwards is that he's equally effective fighting backwards as he is coming forwards. So what does Jason Mama need to do in this fight to come home as champion? He needs to go to the body. Like you said, Chris, Sonny Edwards, his, his, his footwork is very impressive. He could go forwards, he could go backwards, side to side. If Mama wants to catch him, he needs to invest in that body early in the fight. And then when Sonny Edwards starts to slow down, drop his guard, that's when Jason needs to start going to the top. So I think the body is key for, for Jason to beat Edwards. What have you seen out of Sonny Edwards, especially in his last fight against Utelini? Like you said, man, he, he's great moving backwards. Jason Mama, um, from his last fight against Sargia, he used uh, that, that forward coming forward style behind his combination punching. And Edwards could probably, if, you could probably time him coming in, you know, Jason Mama, his, he has okay head movement, but he, he tends to get tagged coming forward and Edwards could capitalize on that. Uh, if you could time it right backing up. Carlo, what else have you seen in Sonny Edwards? Uh, Phil's right. You know, he could probably time Mama coming in, 
that also leads to if you're if you're punching backwards or you know not too many fighters can punch backwards and and, and knock people out you know you lose power as you're punching backwards or you're moving forward so hopefully mama doesn't do that but um also mama can like phil said to the body you know I, mama likes to go to the body he likes to go up top he likes to go and mix it up down low so all you need is one well-placed punch to the body and you can slow down your opponent i think it's gonna you know all he needs one but he's gonna have to throw a lot of good place placement punches to the body because sonny edwards will will can fight backwards like you said he can fight forward he can fight against the ropes he'll throw a combination jab cross hook to the top or jab cross hook to the body and then pivot right out he switches his stance. He'll go orthodox. He'll go southpaw. So now you got to think about it. Like, are you in the right angle? If he switches stance, you know, it can be it can be confusing to people. But uh, at this top level, that's why he has the belt. Um, that's why he's the world champion. It probably it's probably just natural to him. It's probably just a gift that he can think that fast and and change uh, change on the fly on, on his stance. So Mama has to worry about that to make sure he doesn't get caught with the wrong stance as he comes forward and starts to stalk him. So it's well known this fight was originally scheduled in England and certainly the environment in the UK with a British fighter. is It's always amazing. Is there an advantage now or does it help Jason Mama that this fight is no longer in the UK and being fought in Dubai? Yes and no. I think either way, wherever they fight that Jason Mama has to win convincingly. So he needs to not not win that belt, but he has to take that belt. He has to really be convincing and take that fight into Edwards and let him, let him know, like, listen, I'm taking this belt from you, and that's it. So what are Mama's keys to victory? I would say he has to be careful of the counterpunching of Edwards, keep his hands up a lot more, move his head more, uh, and definitely cut the ring off. Like you said, Sonny Edwards' footwork is, is, is immaculate. That guy knows how to move every which way in that ring. Jason Mama needs to invest in the body early, cut the ring off, and then once Edwards slows down and starts to drop his guard, start swinging up top, and he, he'll be able to catch him. And what are Sonny Edwards' keys to victory, Phil? Edwards, I would say just box him. Box him, box him, box him. He has great ability to move backwards and forwards defensively, offensively. Um, one thing I noticed, though, against his last fight against uh, Maruti, he tends to drop his hands every now and then, and he, he, he'll catch a few punches on the chin moving backwards a little bit off the back foot. So he has to be careful of that. Jason Mama has nine KOs. He could put you to sleep, you know? So he has to keep his hands up and, and just be on point defensively. He can't make any mistakes. Carla, what are Sonny Edwards' keys to victory? Based on his last fight, and now Jason Mama will be the aggressor, and Sonny Edwards is going to have to probably just do the same thing what he did, um, fighting backwards, turning, pivoting, angles, and you know switching his stances here and there and just mixing up the combination. And how does Jason Mama become the new flyweight champion? Jason Mama is going to have to just have his high guard, be the aggressor, Mix up the levels of the punches, high and low, low and high. He has to know if he switches southpaw, throw that right hand and the left hook. If he switches orthodox, like use his jabs, you know, use those jabs coming in, blind him, turn him. And same thing, just take advantage of his uh, his right hand to the body, what he did from his last fight, you know. That's how you're going to slow down someone like Sonny Edwards who likes to move and likes to use their legs to 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 box you. The body work will really uh, make the difference and may surprise him, you know, by by maybe throwing something up top. Carlo Sinawang Mananala. I will pick Jason Mama. Jason Mama by split decision. If he can um, he can land more and, and and be the aggressor and control that ring, I will have uh, Jason Mama split decision. Yeah, this is a hard one. This is a real hard one. Uh, I would say. If Jason Mama wins, I'm going to say knockout 10th round. But if Sonny Edwards wins, it will be by decision. Again, December 11th for the IBF Flyweight Championship of the World, Sonny Edwards will defend his strap 
versus Jason Mama of the Philippines in Dubai. Let's go, Filipinos. Let's go, Jason Mama. Mabuhay, Pilipinas. Pow, pow.